Hey everyone, welcome back to Adbusters. In our first video, we learned about what the words decoding and encoding mean in relation to ads and marketing. And this week, we're gonna take that idea further by looking at how companies encode a powerful message into an exciting story to get you to buy their products. Now, before we do that, let's go over the McDonald's ad that I asked you to decode from last week. Do you remember the questions that we asked you to help you decode this ad? Here's a reminder. What was your first impression of the ad? Well, let's take a closer look and try and decode the hidden message that the ad is trying to tell us. As we can see, the prominent image is a picture of Albert Einstein with a thought bubble in his head that says, what's for lunch? And it's interrupting his famous equation E equals MC squared. Do you know who Einstein is? Well, he's one of the world's most famous scientists of all time. He's considered to be a genius. Why do you think McDonald's would want to use Einstein to help sell their food? Well, let's have a think here. What do we know about McDonald's? That they sell fast food. And what do we know about Einstein? Well, we know that he's one of the world's most recognizable geniuses. So what's the story that comes together when we see Einstein and McDonald's in the same ad? Well, to me, the ad is saying that even geniuses need to stop and think about lunch. And when they do, they choose McDonald's. You see, this ad is similar to the Hulk ad that we saw in the last video, where they're trying to get across the message that if it's good enough for them, and in this case, them being geniuses, then it must be good enough for me too. Print ads, like the McDonald's ad or the Hulk Band-Aid ad, are one way that companies can market their products to consumers. But there are other ways. Can you think of another one? Did commercials come to mind? Ah, well, you know they say great minds think alike. So what's the difference between a print ad and a commercial? Well, a print ad is a static image, whereas a commercial is a short live action video. So what do you think companies are able to do with a commercial that they're not able to do with a print ad or a poster? Well, for one, it gives them more time to develop a story. And everybody loves a good story. It helps the companies create an emotional response from you to help sell their product. Why do you think that is? And have you ever had any particularly memorable emotional responses to commercials? Have they ever made you laugh or maybe even cry? Let's take a look at the power of storytelling in advertising. Just like last video, we'll decode the first ad together, and then I'll give you a project you can do on your own. I just learned some jazz too. Like, oh my gosh, just throw that cash in a back bag, run around the back and pull up the track, cause yo. Couldn't believe them stories conceived for no reason. Please just go and leave them fake is in season, but not pre them, cause nowadays, you couldn't find me like when them CC is the best of couldn't be the rest of which I could be. Touch the brakes and go slow. Oh no, dust them out with the one quick solo. Alright everyone, let's decode our ad. So, first up, what is the product that was just advertised in the video you watched? That's right, it's an ad for Apple's wireless AirPods. So what is Apple trying to tell us about AirPods through the actions of our main character and the places he goes? Did this ad make you feel like you want to buy AirPods? Why or why not? Let's keep investigating. As we just saw, our main character spends most of his time in the air, spinning around and jumping. Why do you think this is? What do you think Apple is trying to tell us about AirPods through the actions of their main character? Well, when AirPods were first released, there was a lot of worry that they would just fall right out of your ears since they aren't attached to anything, and that would make losing them fairly easy. So, by Apple making an ad 
where an AirPod user is seen flying through the air, doing all kinds of crazy flips, they're trying to prove to us, the consumers, that you can be active while wearing AirPods and not ever have to worry about losing them. Alright everyone, continuing with our investigation. Is there a feeling that this ad gives you? I think that it has a very real sense of freedom. We can see the man jumping and flying as if he's unburdened by gravity. So why would Apple want you to feel this feeling of freedom? Well, a distinguishing feature of AirPods is their lack of wires. And Apple wants to illustrate that with these AirPods, you can move freely and not be attached to anything. And let's face it, the feeling of freedom is fun. This ad is a good example of modern advertisements telling you about their products through compelling stories that can sometimes be surreal, meaning something you would never see or do in normal life, like for example the concrete turning into trampolines in the ad we just watched. It's less important for them to show you details on their product. They want you to relate with the person in this video and imagine how free you would feel if you also had AirPods. Excellent work, detectives. We've really learned a lot this week. And now, it's time for your next challenge. You're going to be creating your very own commercial. Your goal this week is to let your storytelling do the talking for why people should buy your product. Now, we focus a lot on tech in this video, but your product can be whatever you want it to be. For example, let's say you want to tell a compelling story about these shoes that you really like. Well, your first step would be to ask yourself, what is it about them that you like? Is it the color? Is it the style? Maybe even the comfort? If you chose comfort as a specific feature that you want to advertise, you can make an ad where your main character wears your shoes and never takes them off, even in situations when they probably should. So get creative, have fun, and don't be afraid to get wacky or exaggerate. The best ads are the ones that trigger a strong emotion. So shock us. Give us something to remember. We're excited to see your ads and for you to see the ones that your peers make. So once you're done, be sure to send them to our social media links or to our email. That's all for this one, everyone. Get creating, detectives.